How long have you got for lunch? About half an hour. I'm in cheese quiche and salad. Uh, yeah, that'd be lovely. Thanks, Eileen. I knew it. You're only back with me for my mum's cooking. Oh, busted. How was work? Yeah, much better today. <clears throat> I saw George, Mrs. Jones's funeral. He said, what a wonderful help you've been in organising it. <gasps> Did he let you do more than plate up the biscuits? Yeah, he's actually more shrewd than I thought. Only questionable thing he's done is sing your praises. What are you talking about? He obviously still holds a torch for you. He doesn't offer tours to just anyone, you know. <laughs> Daft Apeth. What are you up to? Playing matchmaker. They obviously like each other. What, are you just doing this out of care and kindness, are you? No, don't be ridiculous. Like the Undertaker's could be a gold mine, but George is too set in his ways to see it. So, if he's distracted by Eileen... I can get a bit more hands-on with the business. So you are basically pimping out your mum, then? Mm, no, look, they're already circling each other. I'm just giving them a little nudge. And, hey, if they get married, be a proper little family business. You are playing with fire, Grimshaw. I can't believe you've managed to get him on a dinner date already. Always been a quick worker. Yeah, I remember. To be fair, George might not realise it's a romantic thing. I mean, he really just might want pie and chips. Flowers and pomade. Do you want to take that back? Hey. Hey. He's over there. Why don't you start over there with them? I thought we were all meeting up together. Yeah, I'm just having a bit of private time with my boyfriend. I'll get over there before he turns into a pumpkin. Smooth. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, Eileen, you look beautiful. Shut up, I do not. Yeah, you do. Even more than usual. And I never thought that were possible. Proper little charmer. Don't know how he does it. Just stop gloating. You, you can stop with the slush you want, Linus. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Am I trying too hard? Bit. <gasps> Flowers. Oh, lovely. It was nothing. Oh, a card. But no, hang on a minute. That wasn't meant to be there. Rest in peace, Mildred. You'll be missed. I can explain. You don't have to. You've stolen these flowers off some poor cow's grave and given them to me. What? No, I would never do that. They were left behind at the office. Is that supposed to make it better? I never said I bought them. Well, you shouldn't have to. It should be a given. It, it's just being environmentally minded, Mum. Yes, exactly. It's recycling. Reduce, reuse and all of that. I'll give you reduce and reuse. And next time you think about being a matchmaker, have a long, hard talk to yourself, because silly black, you ain't. And I should have known that someone who spends most of his time around dead people would have something missing. Enjoy your biryani. Your dinner invite's been revoked. I think you're going to have to work a little bit harder to get these two lovebirds singing the same tune. 